Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'd like to show you the the issue that's currently with this um, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. All right. So of course, this is just a guide to show you what to do in cases where you're having this problem. The issue is fixed on this device. I'm just showing you in case um, you run into the issue as well, what you can do to fix it. And I'm showing you how to fix the black screen issue on your MacBook or MacBook Pro. This is especially so for the M1 series of MacBooks, all right? Now, of course, whenever you're having the black screen issue, you might see the cursor still on screen. Um, of course, we will be able to see the cursor, and of course, the cursor can be moved, but of course, the screen itself is um, blank or black. You can also encounter this issue after connecting your um, Mac to a external display, such as a white screen, or of course, connecting it to a regular monitor, updating your device to the latest version of uh, Mac OS, or of course, um, there are several other conditions under which this um, issue might pop up. I'm going to show you exactly what you can do or the proven steps that has been used in most cases to deal with this issue. All right, so I'm going to start from the very simple solution and I'll move my way into the more complicated, all right? So whatever the reason, if it was that you connected your device to, so whether it was that you connected your monitor to, or connected your device to the monitor via USB-C um, port or whatever it was, and of course you're getting this problem, all right? So the first thing I want to do, guys, is if you have an adapter connected to your device, such as charging, go ahead and um, remove the adapter, all right? You're going to run um, simply on your battery are straight um, from the device's internal battery. All right, so the first thing I want to try, guys, to fix the problem is to go ahead and you're going to close down the lid on your device. All right, so we're going to close down the lid. Simply, what you're going to do, guys, is simply close down the lid. Now, this will trigger your device to go to sleep. And of course, after the device um, is uh, made to sleep, such as this, you're going to go ahead again with nothing connected to your device and you're going to open up the lid. Forgive me, I have to handle this with just a single hand. So go ahead again and lift the lid. Notice the device display has come on. You lift the lid all the way up. All right, guys, so you're just going to lift the lid all the way up completely. And of course, that should solve the problem. All right, so once you lift the lid all the way up, um, forgive me again, I have to do this with one hand. Once you lift the lid completely up, in some cases, by simply placing the device in a sleep state and then lifting the lid again to um, wake it from a sleep state, that is enough to drag the device to actually power up. Now, that will work in a few cases, but not all. Um, if that's not working, the next thing you can do um, for the black screen issue, guys, is to go ahead. You're going to locate your um, Touch ID button or power button. Um, that's usually in the upper um, nope, upper right, I should say. Go ahead, guys, and find this button. If, of course, you're still having the issue, you're going to go ahead and press this button. Now, I want you to just press and hold the power button here or the Touch ID button for about a few seconds. Um, just press simply press and hold. If you press and hold this for about 15 seconds there about, what should happen is that the device is going to be um, forced shutdown. Once you do a forced shutdown, guys, it should come back up. You might, after a while, after holding it, you might have to press let go and then press again. Simply hold on for a few seconds or 15 seconds or so. Let go. If it doesn't come on, go ahead again and press again. And you should find that the display should pour up and start back up completely afresh. And of course, again, guys, make sure that your monitor is disconnected. So if you have a current monitor, especially if it's a wide um, screen monitor or a wide angle monitor, such as um, mine up here, make sure that it's completely disconnected from the USB-C. Also, make sure that you unplug the device and it's not on its um, charger. So make sure that you disconnect that completely. Completely. So um, remove the charger completely before attempting this. If you do all of those guys, you should be good. And of course, remember that um, this can happen in various situations. It's just a bug in most cases. It can be triggered, as I said, by a widescreen monitor or an external monitor. It can be triggered by a software update. So of course, make sure that you do your research on your software updates before updating. I know we can't um, avoid software updates and we must get updates, but every now and again, some of these can cause bugs, especially if you have an older device and you're upgrading now to a newer version of Mac OS. All right, so you want to watch out for those um, as when you update, sometimes you can get bugs like these as well. All right, if you have any direct questions on this type of bug, please go ahead and ask them below. As always, guys, you know, this is Ricardo Gardner. 
with another set of tips showing you how to tackle this issue on your device. Regarding the garden scene, bye until next time. Bye guys.